Hey YouTube, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this whack-a-mole game, which looks exactly like this. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I prepared for you two images which you can uh, use in our game. So when the mole is hidden and when the mole is uh, shown to us. Now, uh, before we start, uh, I just wanted to tell you that we're gonna reuse what we've already built in a previous tutorial uh, uh, where we build a tic-tac-toe game. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly reuse the same board game. Uh, so I will just, uh, I'm gonna write it from a scratch, don't worry, but I'm not gonna go that much into details on how to build it. So if you want to learn how to do it, I strongly encourage you to check this tutorial. You're gonna find the link to this uh, tutorial in the description down below. So um, without further ado, let's start building our page. So I'm gonna start with creating files. So we have index HTML. Uh, let's start with the basic setup. Uh, link. Oops, link. Uh, style CSS. Let's link uh, also uh, script JS. And now let's create those two files. So style CSS and scripts. JS and now let's uh, start working with the HTML. As I said, I'm about to reuse what we've got there. So we'll have a container in the middle. Now I want to have H2 score with some span in it. I'll actually span will have ID of score uh, and we'll update it with JavaScript and the same for time, which will show how much time uh, we have left in our game. This is time. Okay, so that's it. Now let's have board and we want to have box multiplied by 10 nine times. So we have boxes and uh, now let's do multi cursor here. So I'm pressing alt and I'm just doing ID equals to zero and let me quickly update this one so we have two three four five six seven eight so we have numbers we have nine boxes uh, like you seen it here one two three four five six so actually i can show you already this one two three four five six seven nine but there are zero indexes so we are starting with uh, zero and uh, at the bottom of our board let's have um h2 id intro um, let's play so this will start our game and then we will have button to um, restart our game and let's say restart let's see how it looks like open this in the live studio Okay, so now it doesn't look sexy yet. So let's work on the styles. And what we have here, we um, let's specify a variable, we're gonna use it for a color. So if you want to, if you want to use some different color, uh, you can do it. Let's pick some number, let's say something bluish, uh, 5e should do. Okay. So this is CSS variable. If you don't know what it is, um, I strongly encourage you to check our CSS in one video, which will explain mm, this to you. Now for the body, let's reset everything. So margin zero, uh, padding also, we're gonna reset to zero, color. So by default, we want to use um, our color variable. And then we'll, let's set some font family. Um, how about sans serif? Okay, and now also mm, for each and every amount we want to set box sizing uh, for the border box. This will include into entire size of the cell. Uh, so if we say the cell is 300 pixel, um, usually when we don't don't have this border box set, uh, it will basically have the width of 300 plus 
the border. The border is one pixel here, so this uh, entire width would be 302. And we want this to, whenever we calculate, whenever we say width 300, we want to uh, we want to render 300 pixel width, including border. So that's what it does. Um, okay. Now for the container container, we will have some padding. 40 pixels then let's set some height and we will use display flex align item center as i said we have been discussing all this in a previous tutorial so if you don't know what is it uh, doing mm, then please check the previous tutorial uh, where you're gonna find uh, the detailed explanation on that uh, in this tutorial i want to focus on a game itself so i'm just going quickly through that uh, so this is for the container for the board we'll have with 400 pixels then display flex and flex wrap wrap what it does as you can uh, expect it will wrap our uh, boxes um, after um, we reach the height so since the width uh, actually not the height but width so width is 450 pixels and each box will have a width of 150 pixels and for the height we're going to use exactly the same 150 pixels okay um now display flex um align items center and justify content also center although we're not gonna use actually any content in it uh, let's let's do one thing let's do background color something like this and let's see how it looks like now okay so this is our box right cool if we check this in the inspector we're gonna see our boxes here one two three four five six seven eight nine actually one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is it um so that's how we center actually we use align and justify content to in case we would have some content in it uh to to justify it and that's okay uh, we can leave it like this but what we're gonna do we actually um instead of um setting up this in the center these images over here we are gonna use them as a background image but i'm gonna show you that later for now let's leave it like this so coming back to that um let's have uh, this background color let's remove it for a set for now um and we want to have border solid one pixel and then var color Okay, that should do. Now we have this one. Uh, let's remove this X. Okay, so we have this uh, ready for our whack-a-mole. Obviously, we could have a bigger board. This is three by three. We could have four by four. What, uh, whatever you can think of. Um, now, uh, what do we need? We need another class for mole. Uh, so whenever mole is present, we should somehow. Um, differ this uh this 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 box from uh, others let's say we're gonna use border or background color uh we're gonna set it to this one or we could use this uh it doesn't matter now because we're gonna change this for the picture but let's check whether this works mole okay so on this will change to mole um okay few more uh styles and we will be ready to jump into uh, js so we have our restart button um actually let me just quickly copy this from uh the previous tutorial so to give this nice look so it's jumping a little bit and now we are ready to jump into um java script so what we need to do first we will need const boxes and we will have document query selector all so we want to assign um we want to get an array of all elements 
in our document which have a class box so obviously this uh, actually let's do uh, console log boxes so you can follow what it's in it so this is it um, so we have all these boxes here one two three and so on okay let's get back to our code mm, now okay so we don't need this one so now we need const mole and this will be query selector for the element but not all but for the one which has mole uh, in it okay now const actually i have a shortcut here restart the same for time but let's call it time counter and the same for sc score and let's call it score counter okay so we just create a couple a bunch of variables uh, so we can easily uh, easily start using them okay now what we need to do now we want to show our mole somehow so let's create a function show mole okay what we need to do now we need to get into each and every box so let's have boxes for each and now we'll have box oops i'm missing some parentheses here and yeah so okay now for each box we want to remove um class mole from it so we are just doing a cleanup right so let's assume there is a mole here and every time we want to show a new mole we'll uh, we want to clean it uh, clean all the other moles from the board just in case just to make sure that we start uh, from uh, a plain board okay now we need to randomize so we, we need to randomly pick this um, uh, one of those uh, nine boxes and show uh, this uh, choose this one and then show more so how to do it um, let's use um, man, math random so what it does let's have a look math random oh we need to call this function obviously console is not defined console lock oops and this math random uh, so as you can see it's picking up a random number between 0 and 1 so this is this is this looks like this now if you want to have something between 0 and um, 8 actually because there are zero index set we need to multiply this by 9 so then we are sure that we will never go above 9 right but sometimes we are getting something like uh, oh, i've seen 8 and something oh there was one i, I just missed I like this one so just to make sure um, that we not go uh, above 8 because uh, this is our maximum number just to just to remind you 8 is the max uh, what i'm gonna do i'm also gonna do math flow and this will basically round it down to the uh to the full number uh, so we will always be um randomly uh, picking up numbers between zero and eight so this is this is how you can uh, randomize this choice um so let me cut this one and now let's use it for so let random box um, be a box from our array so we are randomly picking this up and now random box uh, class list add mole okay so now as you can see we are already randomly picking up um, boxes within our uh, board 
obviously if that was like 4x4 four four, we would be uh, just do using this from the different range not 0 to 8 but 0 to 15 for example if we have 4x4 four four. Um, okay now uh, let's uh, what we need to do let's start our game so function uh, start and what, what we want to do at the very beginning we want to set our oh yeah we need to we need a couple of variables here so we need to have a score and this will equal zero at the very beginning um now what we want to do here is um we need to Timer? No, not not moment. We, yeah, we need to set timer, interval timer. So let's call it mole timer equals to set interval, and we want to use this show mole function, and let's set it to one thousand milliseconds. So this will return us an ID, and we will need this one if we want to stop this interval. So when the game is over, for example, and we want to stop this one, we will use this ID. So. Um, yeah, let's see how it works. So we don't want to start this manually. We want to now do start. Oops. And let's see. Yeah, so this is working fine. So we are uh, randomly uh, choosing a box and showing a mole over there. Mm. Okay, so now when we... Uh, half our moles we need to start hitting them so uh, let's uh, work on hit the mole logic um, so uh, we're gonna add event listeners so boxes for each box we want to have a box add event listener on click and we want to pass this click um, and now what do we need now hold on so we need to we want to check whether this is the same um whether the box we clicked on is the same where the mole is now so if box id so the one which we clicked on it is equal to what to okay we need to store it here so let's have um, current box and we need to initialize it first let current box equals uh, zero let's say and now current box equals to random box this is the random right so every time we choose one of the box randomly we'll assign its id to the current box and then we'll compare this with the current box let's see if this uh if that's working fine and if this is true then we want to score plus plus do we have score already yeah we have score and we want to also score counter update this one inner text equals score let's see whether it's working fine um what we messed up here box click mm, this is the one okay now it's working fine so now yeah every time we click on it we are getting star however you already see that we can cheat on it because because uh, I can click multiple times on the mole, so that shouldn't happen. Mm, so what we would like to do now uh, is, first of all, we will uh, remove the class, right? So we don't want the mole be present anymore. So box class uh, list remove mole. Okay. So this will remove the class. However for smart guys 
they will realize that you can still cheat the game. So we need to um, introduce some uh, lock. So um, whenever we uh, score one point, we will set is locked to true. Obviously, we need to declare it. So is lock let is locked equals false. So we don't want our Mm, table to be uh, to be locked and we want to set this one at the beginning of each iteration so now oh, okay so now we need to do one more thing we need to check if is locked then return okay so if our board is locked then we will basically stop execution and we will not add score let's check one two three four okay no cheating anymore unfortunately um yeah well okay that's look that looks good so uh actually what we need to do now we need to work on our timer so our our game should be limited uh, in um in time so uh, let's um, let's do function new function and let's call it count time or counter or countdown whatever you want to call it and um, let's um, define let's define let current time equals to let's say I don't know, 15 or 10 seconds so we have 10 seconds for each game so every time this function is invoked we will um what we're gonna do let's decrease current time by one and let's update our time counter inner text by or let's set the current time value to it okay um okay so this is what it does now we need to make sure that this is being this is um this is this is um executed once every second so uh let's change mall timer to uh, time timer set interval count time Okay, let's see. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And obviously it will continue. So we need some extra condition here. So if current time equals zero, then we want to stop our game. And what we want to do? We want to do, we want to clear interval and we want to stop this small time timer right we want to stop this one we also want to stop our mall timer so we don't want our malls to be uh, shown anymore and we will alert um, game and that your score is plus score let's see now let's make some scores boom yeah it's working fine uh, so the only thing which remains is to restart the game and also to change it to to the malls so let's start with malls first mm, so instead of uh, using background color let's do something else let's for the each and every box uh, let's set background image to uh, url and we have it mall hidden and let's set actually this should be i guess in quotes and background uh, size to cover and now let's do the same for mall but we'll just use mall not mall hidden and let's see let's refresh yeah so 
we have our mole popping up. So now the only the thing we have to do is to restart the game. So um, let's um, let's add event listener on our restart button. So restart at event listener on click and we want to run what we want to do mm, we want to restart game we want to restart or do you want to start let's call start okay let's see if this works Okay, with, there is some mess up over here. Mm, let's uh, let's uh, let's let's see why. So we are calling this start game. Now, what if we call this start game? We need to definitely a score set score to zero, right? Current time. To 10 okay now we want to also update uh, score counter oh, we have it here time counter and score counter to score okay looks like we are ah okay i see so we are setting interval but we are not clearing interval so we need to uh, also clear our intervals because otherwise our oh, timer time timer is not defined 24 um okay so we will need we will need um, we will need a pre-step because function start started uh, for the first time. So let's do restart, and now let's function restart. Well, here we're gonna do something like this. Here. Oh, restart, restart game. Yeah, obviously. Okay, that's how we reset our game. Let's see. Yeah, so that's how we can restart our game. So let's see when we, whether we can restart after the game is over. Score 10 times 0, restart, score 0 times 10. And within, during the game we can also do the same. Um, okay, that looks fine to me. Obviously we could do um, a little bit more. Uh, I was thinking about using the single interval because, you know, we could what we could do, we could... Um, uh, like we did with the restart game, so uh, uh, we are doing two things over here. We could also, instead of um, having these two intervals uh, and calling this show mole, we could be calling some functions, uh, some extra function, and within this function we'll have this show mole and count time. But I decided not to do it this way because now, thanks to that, we can do something like this. So we can actually make um, this game a little bit harder so we can do see so we can make it faster and we could for example add also some ratio buttons here radio buttons I mean like uh, easy medium um, and uh, difficult level right so and then we could adjust the, the level of the game so everyone finds something for 
himself. So uh, I hope you had fun um, doing this. Again, if you didn't understand something, do not hesitate to um, leave the comment down below. Um, if you uh, didn't get something from the first part, as I said, check our previous uh, tutorial. I also uh, have the entire series of creating games in JavaScript. So if you don't want to miss our new videos, new games, don't forget to subscribe and turn notification on. Uh, we are also doing a Q&A session, so if you have any questions to us um, regarding programming or whatsoever, uh, do not hesitate to post the question uh, in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and keep coding!